You want to be happy? Wallahi, you will never have happiness in your life unless you are close to Allah Azza wa Jal. And the greatest proof for that is that anyone who seeks happiness out of the religion of Islam fails. People think happiness is in money. How many rich people are depressed going to psychologists? Facing constant anxiety and depression and whatever else because no deen. How many of these so-called celebrities that people think are living the best life end up necking themselves and committing suicide? It's clear. And then you find a man who lives very basic in this dunya. He might live in a tent in the desert. Wallah. We have seen Bedouins and people that look after camels on farms overseas and you find them to be the happiest of people. Why? Because he has Iman and he has Tawheed. Other people, Wallahi, no matter what you give them from the dunya, miserable. Even families within themselves, husband and wife, no happiness. He's always complaining about her and she's always complaining about him. Wallah, I bought my wife this, I bought her that, I bought her this, I bought her that. But we're always fighting. Wallah, I do this for my husband, I do that for my husband, I do... But we're always fighting. You look into their lives, no religion, no baraka. And if there's no deen in the house, my brothers and sisters, Wallah, go buy your wife a $100,000 diamond ring. Buy her the latest cars. Buy her whatever you want. You're going to keep fighting. And you're going to keep miserable. You might be happy for two or three days and then the misery kicks in again. And then Wallah, you find families who live basic. But the bond between the husband and wife, subhanAllah, it's amazing. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave an advice to Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said to him, O oh Anas, when you enter your house, give salam to your family, Allah will put barakah between you. Something so simple. Walking into your house saying, Assalamu alaikum to your wife and your kids.